back with MrTaxes.ca with special guests and our special co-host. Make sure and tune in weekly Wednesday mornings, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 noon Central. Remember to subscribe and remember to smash, bash, and kick it in the you know what with that like button if you want more videos like this. There you have it, the intro for week number 18. Jesse, how's it going? Man, time is flying by. I can't believe it's already week 18 of 2022. I can't believe it's 2022 of True. the new millennium. I remember when midnight was rolling around in 1999 and Prince Prince was playing on the radio, you know, party like it's you know what year and the world's going to stop. I remember that. I was I was a little kid, but I remember it. A little kid. I remember I had won tickets to the Commodore. It was a New Year's Eve party for the biggest New Year's Eve party of the century, you know, to kick us off into the new century. And a lot of, you know, you go out later after you go to the pub, you go, you go out to eat something. I remember eating out at Denny's and there were probably 10 times the normal amount of people waiting for the morning to see if the world was going to stop turning. It was a fear mongering from fear mongering from the media but there was some general there was some real concern in you know the tech industry because computers weren't programmed to do that mm -hmm. i would have been 10 years old so i'm sure my parents were trying to hide me from it but i do remember there was a lot of uh, <laughs> there was a lot of scarcity mindset around it yeah, i was only only a few years ahead of you yeah the programmers the computers people thought they were going to crash etc but now we're we're well in, we're 20, 2022, 22 years later, technology is working for us. So we are going to have a little bit of a different format today. We don't have a special guest. I guess we'll co-host each other. And Jesse's going to have some insights into the back end of our affiliate program, how it works, how to make it work, how to make it work for you as a mortgage broker. What, uh, any sneak previews, Jess, what, what you're going to be? Well, I am going to be talking about the affiliate program and just giving a little bit more in-depth look at what it takes to become an affiliate for the Dollar Tax Club, how you can leverage the, the program, and how you can actually... Just a couple of different ideas that you could use to utilize this program to your benefit. Yeah, I have somebody tuning in here uh, asking some questions. Uh, Janet Laluck from uh, Alberta. And I'm just going to put uh, here, she says the sound is gone. Maybe turn her microphone on because Jesse, here, I'm just going to type in a message. And Janet says, yes, her bad. She's back or we're back with the volume. Thank you, Janet, for pointing that out. So if you're uh, tuning in as uh, just a guest and you're not a mortgage broker and you're looking for some help in Alberta, reach out to us. We have an affiliate. Janet's on with us in Alberta. So uh, thanks for tuning in today, Janet. We're going to, we're going to be, um, taking a look at the back end of the software today. So a little bit on the agenda. Uh, we use Kartra. Maybe you could tell the listeners a little bit about Kartra. Uh, yeah, for sure. So Kartra is a platform that, I mean, anyone can access, anyone can utilize for their business. What you can do with it is there's a lot of different components to it. You can build your own sales pages. You can build websites through there. You can build funnels. You can, uh, they've got an email automation software. You can integrate uh, opt in pages to gather lists. Uh, you build email lists and build sequences, automated sequences to email your lists. You can tag all of your users in there for different things that, you know, maybe. You want to keep one group separated from another. You can add tags. You can do all sorts of different things. You can in integrate payment processing through Stripe, PayPal, and pretty much any of the major processing companies. You can build affiliate programs, which is what we're talking about here today um, through Dollar Tax Club. Our whole entire affiliate program is built through Kartra. They've got surveys that you can build and quizzes for lead lead magnets and different um, ways to attract leads and gather information from people. There's calendar schedulers, pretty much everything that you need. It's it's the tool that I've been using in my own personal business for probably six years now. 
and it's I, I've, I'm super happy with it. It's user friendly, and uh, yeah, there's yeah, there's access uh, or there's help desks. There's I mean, I could go on and on and on with the different features. Yeah, of course, course delivery as well, and we're looking at putting our tax course, the full tax course, into Carter as well. Right now, you can get the tax course at ctpcanada.ca. So we, we do have some chat going on. So Janet, my apologies, is licensed in BC, but she can facilitate mortgages in Alberta through the access desk. We always have some tax tips, a few jokes. Uh, we try to make them funny, but you know we are accountants, so we, we do do our best. And a weekly poll that shows up on social media shows up on LinkedIn and through our constant contact mail out. If you're not on our newsletter, let us know, we'll get you on. And most importantly, you have to execute what you learn. So, you know, grab your notepad, get ready. And Jesse's going to fill you in on how to, you know, maximize or get the most out of your affiliate program. So again, webinar number 18 for the year. It seems like it was yesterday, Jess. Seems like it was just yesterday. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I was muted. Yeah, it totally does. <laughs> Jess was... Yeah, I've done that many times. So a little bit about us. We are the founders of the Dollar Tax Club. Started out predominantly doing tax uh, out of high school. We had our trademark, uh, managed to get it backdated to first use in 1984. Had to provide a little bit of proof for that. Uh, so we are trademarked across Canada. Went through a few transitions, grew it to 42 offices, sold out in late 2016 and relaunched. Uh, we managed to keep the brand, the uh purchasers did not want to use a brand they wanted to rebrand everything so we managed to negotiate the brand but did have a three-year non-compete and most importantly 2021 early last year we partnered with finastra which is the owner of phylogix in canada and i believe they manage probably <clears throat> anywhere between a third and a half of the world's banking software and back-end platforms so massive company and at the end of every month we do have uh, guests on from phylogix showing their platform and how to get the most out of the expert and expert pro platform with phylogix and jesse just a, a few accolades here on your list yes yeah, so i've been an online entrepreneur since 2016 um started a few different ventures just trying to figure out what niche i wanted to be in been uh, considered number one in sales for three different global companies through my career which was super amazing and um, i've built and led teams of thousands of people built many different training courses on different advertising techniques and just different marketing strategies and, and whatnot um do a lot of coaching and consulting for different people and uh also working with the dollar tax club and as well as mr insurance um heading up the alberta division for that which is uh one of the new latest adventures that i'm really excited about really expanding and growing that well i managed to hit number one in a uh, i wouldn't say global uh, financial services company but i hit number one in 2015 for world financial group before we started our own brokerage and jesse i know for a fact definitely at least one but two others you were number one i was watching jeremy minor yesterday on his training and he reached number 48 in the, you know the forbes uh, global list but he Jeremy Miner did not even reach number one. And Jesse's done it how many times? Three. <laughs> three. That reminds me of my favorite joke. You know, there, there are three types of accountants. There's those that can count and those that cannot. <laughs> and those that didn't get it probably missed grade three math. So if you're not signed up already and you managed to happen onto the webinar here, watching it on the replay, go to dollartaxclub.ca forward slash affiliates, especially if you're a mortgage broker. But even if you're not, we're, we're building this as the side hustle for your side hustle where you can get 20% referral fee. Uh, there's more in it for mortgage brokers and we have a few on, on the webinar today. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to make or get the most out of the affiliate program. There is a QR code up on the screen. This is something that all of our affiliates receive on the mortgage side. So if you're a mortgage broker, we create custom posts for you that have a QR code and also your dedicated link and maybe Jesse, you can talk about the the link and how a referral code link works yeah we can definitely dive into that uh so program details what's in it for clients what's in it for brokers and what's in it for the dollar tax club i'm going to tell you you know just to be open what's in it for us at mr taxes so we have a national insurance and investment brokerage and we do have an affiliate program with mortgage brokers so we cover the full spectrum of financial services 
Uh, but what's in it for us? Our loss leader is personal income tax. So we are looking for corporate tax clients. We're looking for bookkeeping and payroll clients. We're also looking for referrals from brokers on insurance. If you're not working with somebody directly, talk to us, find out more about our affiliate program on the insurance side. Even if you're working with MPP in your brokerage, we don't uh, approach a client or discuss any anything with the client until the, what is it, the cancellation period on, on the commission is up with your client. So you can actually get paid twice on the referral fee, once for the MPP and once for us on the permanent insurance uh, replacement for MPP. And what's in it for brokers? Well, for brokers, it's potential leads because using our affiliate lead magnets, clients will come into our back end, uh, powered by Kartra, as Jesse mentioned. And those clients, if they're not working with a mortgage broker, if they see one of your posts that we create for you, and the client comes through our portal, we do a tax, full tax and financial review with them. If they either don't own a home yet, or they have a home and they're working with a bank or don't have a broker, a dedicated broker, then those clients will get referred back to you. So that is the lead generation that you can leverage from us. And what's in it for clients? Uh, when they sign up to the Dollar Tax Club, they get a free 10 year tax review and discounts on their tax services moving forward. And it's a one-time fee for a dollar. That's why uh, we call it the dollar tax club and not the $199 club, <laughs> or the $249 club or the $1999 club. Just a buck, just a buck. And there we go. We'll, we'll dive into this a little bit deeper now. So mortgage brokers, referral commissions, we do pay 20%. So our on the affiliate page at Mr. Taxes, so if you go on the uh, affiliate link for the dollar tax club, you'll see what we charge for our services. Now, clients that sign up for the Dollar Tax Club get a 30% discount, and you, as the broker, get a 20% referral fee. Now, in some provinces, you do have to disclose this if they are working with you as a mortgage broker, but if they're not, uh, you still get that 20% referral fee, and that can be paid to you directly, to a spouse, to your corporation for tax planning purposes. Uh, social media and website exposure for mortgage brokers, we have a slider page, so mrtaxes.ca forward slash mortgage and we have a few brokers up on there already uh, those brokers get exposure on our website and when uh, clients come to our website or they talk to us and they're looking for a mortgage we refer those clients back to somebody that's on our affiliate program so if you're not signed up you know i encourage you to go to that link you can watch it back in the replay or just dollartaxclub.ca forward slash affiliates and then for you as a broker if you have a corporation or you're working as a sole proprietor, or you're a brokerage owner and you have payroll, we can cover the full spectrum of accounting services. And we can do that for your referrals as well, and you get paid on it. So let's let's look at the average fee for a corporate tax return, 1,500 bucks, annual bookkeeping fees starting at about $200 a month. That's almost a $4,000 referral fee. That's an $800, $800 commission for you as a broker for just posting a couple ads that we create for you. If you look at last week's replay on the webinar, go to our YouTube page. Uh, Alicia was on showing uh, examples of some of the, the content that we create for you as a broker. So if you don't have your own design department, if you don't have somebody in your parent brokerage or your franchise head office creating content for you, that's what we'll do. You know, it's it's all about uh, giving and receiving. Like the old boxing coach used to say, right, Jess? It's always better to give than to receive. 100%. Hey, Rob, how much does it cost to be an affiliate for the Dollar Tax Club? <sighs> Hold on. Uh, fasten your seatbelts and make sure you're sitting down because the cost is absolutely zero. <laughs> I don't think you can get better than that. Thanks for pointing that out, Jess. Uh, but for clients, we do charge a dollar because it does vet them. If brokers are looking to get documents for a client, and you're not part of the expert pro program, which we encourage you to do, or one of the other NOA services, the client comes through, we do charge that dollar so we can vet the client as part of the screening process. It's not that we need the dollar. And on top of that, for everybody that joins, we donate $3 to the local food bank. You know, that's where I started my accounting career. So I always like to give back. Uh, joke of the day, tax preparer, because superhero isn't a professional job title. So you, you know, you could insert instead of tax preparer, mortgage broker, because we, we've heard some of the hoops that you have to jump through with clients, some of the, you know, mud that clients drag you through as well, you know, not disclosing, disclosing documents, not getting documents to you in time, not signing 
documents properly, you know, fabrication of their income. Uh, these are these are things that we all do in our respective professions. So feel free if you want that image, you know, and, and replace that with mortgage broker, just reach out to us. I'm sure Alicia can do one up for you pretty quick as long as you're an affiliate. So tax tip of the of the week here, you can get your notice of assessment proof of income and income slips in a pinch if you need them for a mortgage or loan, get started on your tax review today. So everybody that does get referred to us through your affiliate link as a mortgage broker, we can we actually download, we do a complete dump of the entire CRA account for each client that we do the review for. We need all that information to do the tax review. So if they end up working with you or they're a current client of yours, and they need those documents, all they have to do is reach out to us. Or you can CC us uh, with an email to the NOA service portal, copying the client. We'll reach out to the client, make sure they need the documents. We'll pass them off to the client. And then you have your documents. You know, how many times as a broker have you been waiting till the 11th hour? Client says, oh, I'll get them. I'll get them on my online account. Then they try and log into their account and they're locked out. I don't know how many calls we get Friday afternoon at 4.45, you know, or Saturday morning at 6 a.m. from Ontario because we are on the West Coast, you know, looking for documents from CRA. And if a client's account is locked and they want to do it themselves, they're not covered, we can help them get the account unlocked as well. It's just one of the many services we provide other than tax preparation. Tax review, it costs them a dollar to join. So Jesse, I'm just going to back up the slides here a bit. We'll go back to your slide. And then you can... Let's see, here we go. So Jesse, many years in, in marketing, marketing funnel expert, I guess for some of the brokers that may be in uh, here today or listening on the replay, if you could explain what a marketing funnel is, because in essence, the Dollar Tax Club is powered by a marketing funnel. Yeah, so a marketing funnel is in its easiest, simplest form, just it's a tool that you can put together a series of different websites that really only have minor goals in mind. So really small goals at each step, right? And it's designed to filter out people who would be a good fit for your product and people who would not be a good fit for your product. So in essence, I mean, everyone's probably, if you're watching this, you've definitely gone through a funnel because you had to get, if you're watching this, you had to go through a funnel to get here, essentially, some form of funnel. So. It's, you know, if you've ever clicked on an ad on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or Twitter, wherever, right? Most times, nine times out of 10, you land on a page that's pretty simple, pretty basic, gives you a little bit of information about what it is that you're looking into. And then it asks for your name and your email, sometimes your phone number, sometimes a little bit more information, but usually the, the most common is name and email. And so what that's doing is that's putting you into their email list. And then you probably notice that you get some emails from these people, right? That's all intentional. It's all designed purposely that way. Uh, because what they want to do is they want to gather your information so that they continuously can um, follow up with you. Uh, same thing you would do if you were a mortgage broker, right? If you're a mortgage broker, you're watching this, you probably have some form of, um, you want to collect information from people so you can continue to follow up with them. Same, same type of thing. And each step of the funnel is designed to give a little bit more information and to essentially get those people to move forward towards the purchasing decision, making that decision to either purchase your product or to uh, take the next step. In the case of the Dollar Tax Club, the idea is for mortgage brokers, the idea of the funnel for you guys is to get you to sign up for the affiliate program, right? which it doesn't cost anything to do that. I'm loving the lights behind you, Rob. Yeah, I had to I had to try and match Jesse's backdrop there with the with the mood lights. <laughs> so, the the purpose of a funnel, if you were to think about it, you know, from a a normal funnel perspective, you put a lot of people in at the top, but only a few people will come out the bottom. Those people, if if the funnel's built properly, those people who do come out the bottom, are going to be your perfect customer. They're gonna be looking for exactly what you offer. And uh, it's purposely designed to be hands-off, automated, and in a way that delivers a lot of value in exchange for you know, either information or money or whatever the case is, however you know, your product works essentially. Mm -hmm. This works for any type of product. I have not come across an industry or a product that this this process cannot work for yet. Um, maybe it exists, I don't know, 
but I has I still haven't come across one. So I'm I'm very fortunate to understand the psychology and the background behind all of these things, and I'm really excited to uh, to do that. At the end of the day, let's let's dive in and check out. So you should be able to share your screen there, Jess. So take it away. Sounds good. Okay, you should be able to see my screen. I like that page. It's a good looking page. <laughs> so this is the page that you, as a mortgage broker, uh, would go to to sign up for the affiliate program. Okay. This is a video that Rob and I had created a little slide presentation, um, very similar to the information we talk about on this webinar, uh, a little bit more in depth, just talking about the affiliate program though. And uh, so feel free to watch that. And to sign up as an affiliate, like we said, it's free, doesn't cost you anything to, to get your links and to start sending people to it. You can do that really easily by clicking the button and sign up as an affiliate. Now, this is probably the part that confuses most people because, you know, if you don't understand it, you don't understand it. You don't know what you don't know. Um, so here, if you have ever signed up for a program or an affiliate program, or if you've ever had a Kartra account, then you would want to click the sign in button because that's saying that you already have an account with Kartra, which is where all of this is hosted. So you would click sign in you would put in your name or your email address, your password that, to your Kartra account, and then that would be that. There's a quick questionnaire that you would fill out to, uh, to just be a, an affiliate, and then from there, you would be able to find your affiliate links. Super simple, three steps, I think, is what it, what it takes. Now, if you have never signed up for a Kartra account, whether it was a free account or a paid account, you would just click free sign up. You click here, you fill out this information. It's pretty basic stuff. Click create free account, and then it'll ask you the same questions. I think there's six questions, really basic questions, um, like how did you hear about us? Are you a mortgage broker? Are you an affiliate marketer? What, what do you do for a living? Have you ever been an affiliate before? Just those kind of things. And then once you've done that, there'll be a confirm button. You click that, it'll, it'll set up your account. And then what you'll want to do is it should automatically log you into your account, but let's say that it doesn't. Then what you'll do is you'll go to the, what the link you'll want to go to is Kartra dot com slash login it'll take you to the cart login page which is where you will log in using the same email address and same password that you created when you set up the account once you're logged in it'll take you to a page that looks very much like this and so in here this is the Kartra dashboard this is where like like we said everything is hosted through here with the free account you will still see my products, communications, pages, forms, all of these things, but you will not be able to access any of those. Those are for the paid Kartra members. If you see the value in, in checking out Kartra and getting your own paid account, I mean, go for it. Do You can do that. That's your choice. But with the free account, what you'll have access to is the My Affiliate Promos tab at the bottom here, and it'll just automatically bring you there. If you try to click on anything else, it'll just pop up a video that says, you don't have access to this, you can upgrade your account, blah, 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 blah. And like I said, you can choose to do that if you wish. But the what we really care about now is just the my affiliate promos. So there is the affiliate link. Yeah, so where it'll, it'll have the Dollar Tax Club logo there, just like Rob's screen. And then there's that video that pops up when, you, when you're in the free account. But what we care about is you'll click right where Rob just clicked, um, my link and then your affiliate link and then there's two links in here they're both very similar you can just kind of choose which one you like best copy it paste it in a new tab like rob is doing right now there we go this one's a little bit more basic the other one has a little bit more text on it um but i mean they're both very similar just a couple different words there's the other one just a couple more words, you know, a little bit of a different angle, but you can choose which one you like the best. They're both yours. You can send those links out to anyone you choose. And essentially what will happen is they will, whoever you send this to, they will fill out this form on the first page and then they will start to go through the funnel. This is the first step of the funnel that's already built for you as an affiliate. And here is one of the images that we created for one of the brokers in our affiliate program already. So you can see the QR code. And when these are posted on either TikTok, I'll throw some names out there that maybe some of the brokers aren't familiar with or don't want to play on, but 
you know, the familiar ones, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of these sites, you can post these images, they're standard formatted, they're, they're, they're designed in the standard format, the post, and then in the comment section, you can put your direct affiliate link. And this is how somebody gets into the funnel to get in as a member of the Dollar Tax Club to get the tax review and get referred back to you as a broker. So we create all these images for you. Yeah. So you get a lot of value for just becoming a free affiliate, which is amazing. But I'll turn it back over to you, Jess. Okay. So that's where we kind of left off. So these, these pages, uh, that's the only links you'll have access to. However, the entire funnel is coded to you. And what that means is if you send your affiliate link to anybody, what will happen is those people will go to a page that is just like this, but it's tagged to you inside of the, the back end system. And essentially what will happen is when they put their name and email in, it'll register them into our back end, but it'll have a tag saying that you were the referring affiliate. And anything that that person decides to purchase throughout the process will be tagged back to you and automatically those commissions will be rewarded to you, essentially. So once they fill out that form, they'll land on a page that looks exactly like this one here. This is Rob explaining the Dollar Tax Club, the 10-year tax review that anyone who signs up for the Dollar Tax Club has access to. In my opinion, this is something that I like. I just want to share with my friends, my family. Rob and the team were able to do amazing things for me. I'm not going to get into the whole story, but through the 10-year tax review, I'm really excited about how that turned out for myself. So, I mean, for a dollar why not share it with everybody that you know, right? Get everyone on board with that, see what they can do. So that's that's what really- And, and more, more importantly, just as a mortgage broker, I would say, you know, probably 40 plus percent of clients that come through from the links that brokers are posting come through are not working with a broker. You know, I found out from uh, some brokers yesterday, we were on actually with a, uh, a Zoom call with the president and VP of the uh, Canadian Mortgage Brokers Association. And they were telling us that 50% of clients in Canada still work with the banks. Now, I'm sure you as a broker would want to see that number shift a bit, you know, predominantly shifting towards you and just the different things that you can do for clients as a broker. I believe that, you know, I, I did use a broker when I set up my mortgage, um, but it was just out of kind of pure luck, I guess, because um, I didn't even know that was a thing at that time. <laughs> I just... Well, Mich Michelle in our office says one of the, one of the, my favorite quotes now is, if you don't ask, you sleep alone. So you have yeah. to ask for the sale or you have to be present on social media. And this is just one more tool. A lot of brokers out there talk about partnering with an accountant, partnering with a lawyer, partnering with realtors. And we're just a national accounting firm. That we built this affiliate partnership program for brokers specifically designed for you as mortgage brokers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, partnerships are amazing. And we kind of talked about that last week, I think, but partnerships are, they're the golden ticket. Um, so yeah, essentially, you know, people will come to this page, they'll watch the video, they'll find out a little bit more information. Like I was talking about before, each step is designed to give a little bit more information and take them to the, to the next step. So the idea would be to get them to click this button, pay the dollar, Sign up for the Dollar Tax Club. And then what is going to happen is they're going to land on this page. Now, this page is, this is what we call splitting, you know, splitting and splitting the funnel. Um, so this is where we try to figure out where people are without having to actually talk to them, right? So using automation tools to figure out who they are, what they do, and just put them down different paths. So if some, they'll watch this video, obviously, and if they're incorporated, they'll click this button. If they're self-employed, they'll click this button. And if they're an employee or they have a job, they'll click this button. Each one leads them down a different path that's suited for that category of person. So this is where some people, you know, they'll take advantage of the tax services that Mr. Taxes offers. That's where the 20% commissions will come in play. That's where you'll start to get those uh, emails in your inbox saying, hey, you you've made a sale, you've got commission, which is, those are the best emails in my opinion. I love waking up to emails that say you've made money. So that's, that's how that kind of happens. I won't go through each one of those, but that's, that's the process in a nutshell. Once they finish 
going through this process of clicking buttons and, you know, deciding what they want to do and what they want to buy or what they don't want to buy, then they will also have access to the Dollar Tax Club members area, which this is all explained through the process. So there's been no confusion. We've ran a bunch of tech people through there, as well as some people who have gone through after we were done putting this all together and nobody's come back to us and said, hey, this is confusing. I don't understand how this works yet which tells us that, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It's not complicated. It's user-friendly. It's simple. We, so did, we did have a, Jesse, we did have a question from a broker that asked if we could uh, back up a little bit, but I contact, I, I just private message her and we can, you can watch this replay. A link will come out in an email, usually within 30 minutes after the webinar. So you can watch it on the replay. But if you have specific questions, like how to get your link, where to get the ads, how to post the ads, those are all in the replay videos, which are on YouTube and or just reach out to us directly. You know, pick up the phone, give us a call. We'll get on a Zoom call, walk you through it. Jesse is the expert in Kartra. I'm just piggybacking. I'm a Kartra ex expert on TV. I just play a Kartra expert on TV, but I, I managed to get her direct links. And again, you know, if you do have questions, feel free to give us a shout. That's what we're here for. Yeah. We're, we're definitely here to help. We want this to, we want you to win with this. So anything you need, we're here to help for sure. I've jumped on calls with other people through this dollar tax club just to help them through different things and get set up with different things. Um, it's definitely something we, we definitely will help you with. Now, this is the membership area that anyone who purchases the dollar tax club for the dollar, they get access to this. Pretty simple first steps. There's a little to-do list. Uh, they can watch this video which explains you know what to do and how to do it. But then over here, there's tabs on the left-hand side so they can uh, check out the social media channels, join the Facebook group, follow us on social media. Most people, <laughs> one of the main reasons they're coming in here is to do this 10-year tax review. Now, if you do not fill this out, then they won't start on your 10-year tax review essentially. So it's pretty simple. We've made it really easy. International here, rules, you got to fill out the form. Exactly. No ticking, no washi. Very simple though. We've, we've made it as easy as we possibly could. We know that the more steps there are for people to do, the less likely they'll actually move forward. So step number one, click the yellow button. <laughs> we've even made it so simple that we color code the name of the button. Click the yellow button, fill out the 10 year tax review form. So that would pull up this page. Really simple. <laughs> You've put your email in. It'll email you the form. You sign a couple of different things, but I can't even remember. It's maybe takes two minutes to fill out. You click submit. And then from there, it sends back to Rob and the team and they will get started on the 10 year tax review. Rob, how many points is it that you go through on those 10 year tax reviews? Uh, it's over 100. We put together a list. We started doing this in 2006. And we just compile a list. A couple examples. It, when we download all the NOAs for the clients that sign up here, and, and important as a broker, this is where you refer your clients to download, to get their documents, right? When they're applying for a mortgage. But for the tax review, we'll download the last 12 years of NOAs. And if we see that there's a different province from year to year, from one year to another, we check to see if there's moving expenses claimed. Nine out of 10 people don't know that you can claim moving expenses. Just one simple, if somebody has gross income on payroll and they receive a commission income and their net income is the same, we know they didn't claim expenses. So we'll reach back and set up a Zoom call with, with the client or the taxpayer and just ask them about their employment, whether they had expenses. You know, nine times out of 10, people that are on commission don't know that they can claim expenses. So little things like that, we've just compiled the list over the years. And to be honest, it takes us 10 to 15 minutes to go through that process once the documents are all downloaded. But we, we download the documents anyway for every client in case they don't have copies. So when they're applying for a mortgage or auto, auto loans, et cetera, whatever industry that requires income verification, then we can get on top of that and more specifically pull out the specific documents in a rush for a broker if they need them for a mortgage application. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you give out all of the documents through Dropbox, right? We, to we do use Dropbox, uh, 45 million users worldwide. You know, one of the most secure online platforms for sharing documents, it is password protected. And those documents are available to the client for seven days and that portal uh, evaporates. And if they want the documents after that, you know, possibly a year later for a mortgage, et cetera, 
then we can still, we retain those documents. We retain all client documents. Uh, it's a requirement by law for a minimum of six years, but we keep them indefinitely. We have clients going back to 1998 in our portal. Right. Awesome. I know that that's come in handy for me a few times where, you know, you're sitting there waiting for an auto loan or something and, and they're requiring some form and I've had to call my accountant and say, hey, I need this form really quick. And within a matter of minutes, they've got it for me, which is amazing. Super handy. So yeah, super simple. That's the first step. Fill out the, the form, submit that back into Rob and the team, and they will get started. Then the idea is to step two is to choose a time in the calendar. Again, we've made this very simple. You know, people will be able to click the button. It won't give them availability for that day because we do want to allow the team enough time to go through the the tenure tax review and have information prepared before the call that was um, mighty kind of you jesse to set it up like that because we've had people sign up right away and they will receive a phone call you know i don't even think their account's registered yet on Kartra, and they're like where's my refund you know we need the documents first so you know give us some time and mortgage brokers can appreciate this you know and when clients say wait you need more documents you know it's, it's not the mortgage broker's fault it's the requirements by law Exactly. Um, so we allow 24 hour before you can book the call. And then the idea would be, you know, you book the call for the next day or a couple days from then. And uh, super simple, click on the day, choose a time, confirm it, fill out the, the information, and then just schedule scroll, your... scroll down there, Jess. So one of the first questions we ask just on the sign up process is if the client owns a home. Yeah. So we know that before we even have a call. Yeah. But brokers don't be calling us within 24 hours to find out if the client owns a home or not. Trust me, we'll, we'll get that information back to you in due course, usually within about 48 hours. It takes, you know, the, the timeline to get the reviews done, depending tax season, the big crunch for tax season's over. So it's usually a 24 hour turnaround time. And then the brokers will receive some information back from us, usually within 48 hours. If there is a rush for documents and, and there's a, a deadline for the mortgage application or closing dates, et cetera, reach out to us. We can expedite the process. Yeah. This is a, this is a partnership where we, like we mentioned before, we want to work with you. We want to work, work alongside you and we want it to be mutually beneficial for all parties. So like Rob said, if it's a rush, get in touch and, and we'll do what we can. But yeah, that's, that's the, 10-year tax review for the personal side, 10-year tax review for the corporate side is very similar. You know, you fill out the, the form and then you book a call. Very similar. There is an insurance tab in here, a little bit of information about insurance as well as an opportunity to, uh, to book a call with us to chat about the insurance side as well through Mr. Insurance. Rob, I don't know if you want to add anything to that or if we're good with talking saying that. We're, we're licensed from Ontario across Western Canada. We are looking at licensing in the Eastern provinces or a partner. If you know somebody in the Eastern provinces that wants to partner with us to service clients out there. But we, we started in BC working our way across the country. We're fully licensed in all provinces for life, uh, disability and critical illness insurance. But more importantly, when somebody's making the biggest purchase of their lifetime, you know, a home, uh, we always ask the question, you know, would your widow want to dress as nice as your spouse? You know, somebody with kids, you want to protect that. Insurance does that. There are, are ways to do insurance. There's structures for insurance so that they can use the insurance outside of just a mortgage, right? If they have a business, there's advantages to owning the insurance corporately so they can pull money out of their corporation tax-free. We go through all the strategies and, and potential options for a client. Uh, we don't just have them sign and get you know mortgage protection insurance where the uh, creditor is a beneficiary you know do you want to bottom line is do you want to rent insurance or do you want to own it and that's what we go through we explain it all to the client and we do have a video series that is coming uh six point uh, six ten minute videos that explains insurance inside out and that's something we'll have inside the dollar task club as well yeah there's definitely pros and cons to uh, term insurance versus permanent insurance and those kind of things. And I think a lot of it comes down to lack of education. That's one of the reasons I became life insurance licensed a few years ago is because I just, life insurance is one of those payments that I had coming out for years and years and years. And I didn't understand what I was paying for. 
And then one day I just had this epiphany. I was like, if I'm going to be paying for this for the rest of my life, I should probably understand how it works. And so I started doing some research and I found out the differences between um, permanent versus whole life and universal life and term insurance. And it's not that any of them are bad or better than the other. It's just they're designed for different reasons. They're designed for different purposes. And uh, a lot of people, they'll have, you know, a term insurance, for example, that they just think, you know, I'm good. I'm good for the rest of my life when it works out that they're probably not. Right. (laughs) So it's just about setting these people up, not only with the knowledge, but also being able to set them up with the proper product for them and customize it for them, which is as as a broker, some brokerages, it's responsibility or requirement to get the client to sign off on the insurance to say, you know, yes, I would like the insurance or no, I do not want the insurance. It's just as easy to say yes, it is to say no. And the best part about it, if we go through that with a client and they're not interested, it doesn't cost them anything. Mm -hmm. You know, all all of that. The CTP training, Jesse, next, next on the list there for Dollar Tax Club members. Yeah. So you should probably explain this. Yeah, we, we set this course up 12 years ago. It was part of an internal training that we created when we had our 42 locations before we sold out to private ownership. And the course, somebody in our in our office said, you know, why don't we offer this to the public? So we did. It's a tax certification course. It's accredited with Human Resource Development Canada. So it's a national tax certification course. One of the few in Canada. They don't teach us in high schools or colleges or universities, uh, but you get the first two modules for free and you can let your potential clients or referrals know that they can get this course for free inside the Dollar Tax Club. They do have to pay the buck, but this is just something else that's included. Another value add for anyone who might be interested in, in that. It's all about giving. Exactly. And then there's also franchise opportunity. Again, Rob, you know a lot more about this than I do. Yeah, I'll let you talk about Kartra and I'll just mention that we are members of the Canadian Franchise Association. We do have our first five franchises now signed for in BC. But if you're in Alberta or Ontario, we're looking to move into those two provinces next, looking to award a master franchise uh, agreement for those two provinces. So if you know somebody that's a brokerage owner that, that thinks that uh, you know partnership with an accounting firm would really benefit them, just reach out to us. We do pay a referral commission on the franchise referral as well. And uh, it is not 20%. It's dependent on the size of or the block of business that is sold with the franchise. And that is paid out as a referral commission to you. But again, international rules. You have to be an affiliate to get that opportunity. Yeah. So just more and more opportunities piled on top of opportunities for people in here. And then we also do have the replay vault as well as affiliate center, just some more information for. And the replays are are all up on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. Maybe Alicia could put that in the uh, chat area. And we, we can include that link, Alicia, if we can get that link included in the email that goes out at the end of the webinar, just a reminder link, we'll add those into the Webinar. I think that's we're coming up on the hour. We've got about 10 minutes left. So if any anybody has questions, I guess now's the time to get them in. Yeah, that was uh, that was an in-depth look at uh, the entire process in a nutshell. Okay, I'm going to cue the slides back up and find out where we're at. So mm-hmm. question, if you know, anybody has questions, put them in. Any anything, Any overview you want to give on the affiliate program, Jesse? I think it kind of speaks for itself. It's it's just another tool that you can add to your tool belt. I know I've said this before on these webinars. I would much rather, if I was a carpenter, I'd rather show up with my hammer and find out that I don't need it for the job than find out that I do need it and I don't have it, right? This is just another tool that you can add into your tool belt, into your arsenal, so that when you do show up with a, a client meeting, it's just one extra thing that you can offer. Right. Yeah. And up on the slides, Neil Callahan, a uh, mortgage broker here in the Valley in British Columbia. He, he's able to facilitate mortgages in most of the provinces. Our affiliates do have an opportunity and you will be given the opportunity while the opportunity lasts to get on our weekly webinar. So you can come on and talk about what's going on in the markets. You can talk about any type of promotions you have going on, uh, more specifically for our clients that tune into these and watch the replays to get to know you. And we do cut up the video in short bite sizes that you can post on social media. So again, you have your, your whole marketing department behind you here as a member of the affiliate program, as a broker. 
So questions, somebody mentioned here again, they'll have to watch the replay. But if you have specific questions on something, you're not sure how to log into Kartra, easier to pick up the phone, make a quick phone call or shoot us an email. You don't have to wait till next Wednesday till the next webinar because we're probably not going to play or cover what was on the previous week's webinar. Just uh, FYI, it's it's new information every week, but you got to tune in every week to get that info. If you want your questions answered, you know, ask them now on, on the webinar or reach out to us direct. You don't have to wait for the replay because the replays are usually a week lag. Matthew in our office does all of the editing on the videos and he's usually about a, you know, a week delay to get those posted up on YouTube. Q&A, no questions. We'll have to ask each other questions just until, until somebody pops one in the chat area. Whenever there's no questions at the end, I just assume that we've done an amazing job at doing our job. <laughs> I must concur. I must concur. But there, there's always questions or chat. Anybody, uh, you know, what's going on in the NHL? Who's who's still uh, in the running? Uh, I feel bad for not knowing any of this, but uh, I have not even had a chance to follow any of it. So I'm the wrong guy to ask. <laughs> Too busy answering Kartra questions. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up for this week. Again, next week, Neil Callahan, um, independent broker uh, here in British Columbia. He's working under uh, a new brokerage under Scott Peckford. Some people may know that name. Scott has his referral program, his training that he does. Uh, maybe maybe he'd be interested in coming on. He had us on one of his podcasts way back when when he started out, but maybe he's getting too big for us. We'll we'll send out the invite anyway. We'll see if Scott wants to come on. Maybe push his program and tell us what's going on with this new brokerage. But other than that, thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on the links below somewhere around the, the video. And Jesse, I'll let you finish it off this week. That's a wrap for this week. Um, we will see you guys next week. Um, and uh, Neil, I, I had a pleasure of meeting Neil yesterday on a quick call. So I'm really excited to see what he brings to the table next week. And yeah, that, that's that. 